Melon is sponsoring me to teach you how to sign up and get started with their platform that allows you to record, live stream, and produce interview content, you name it, all without any of this gear that I have here in my home studio. Just with an internet browser and some basic hardware like a microphone and a camera, you can get started. So first things first, go ahead and click my affiliate link below to go ahead and sign up. And what you can do is use your email address or any number of streaming platforms that are available. I recommend selecting the streaming platform you plan on streaming on to speed up the process because it'll auto link that account so you can stream directly to it if you sign up using that account. So in this example, I'll be signing up using YouTube. It'll pull open an authentication window. Go ahead and go through your authentication. My information will be blacked out there by my editor to protect my identity. Once you arrive within uh, Melon, you're going to see a number of pop-ups come up on the screen. Up in the top, it'll ask you for permission to access your camera and your microphone. Give Melon permission to do those things or the next steps in this tutorial will not work. Also, it's gonna give you a onboarding tutorial. Just skip all those steps. Follow me. You ready? The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go set up all of your audio settings here within the platform. Do the up hash mark here next to the microphone. And what you'll wanna do is select an audio input on your computer. Preferably this audio input is going to be a dedicated microphone if you have it or a dedicated webcam mic if you have that. So I'm just going to select my webcam microphone for this tutorial. Then for your speakers, you're gonna to want to preferably have headphones on if you're interviewing someone or you're playing back some content. If you don't have headphones, then go ahead and select the speakers on your computer. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're using speakers and with those speakers, you're playing back either you talking in an interview with someone or a podcast or you're playing back some media, you're going to want to turn on echo cancellation. Uh, and in order to do that, you'll have to turn off stereo audio. If you don't, then you will create a feedback loop in your space where the sound is coming out of the speakers, going back into your microphone, then coming back through your speakers, and you'll get feedback. You want to avoid that, so turn on echo cancellation if you are not using headphones. If you are using headphones, you can turn it off and just use stereo audio to improve your quality. Cool? Now, in terms of auto-adjust microphone, this is going to be turned on automatically. It's fine. Personally, I prefer not to use this setting uh, with any call platform. I prefer to turn it off and to manually set my volume so that when I talk, the volume is getting toward the end and it's dunking below the end, but it's not constantly slamming against the end of the bars. So go ahead and adjust yours to where the volume is popping here in the green and you can see it kind of gravitating toward an average of about two to three bars from the end here, and you know you have a healthy volume level that is not over-modulating. If you do auto volume adjust, in my experience, sometimes that can adjust your volume too low or too loud if you cough or if there's some sort of loud noise, uh, or it can reduce your volume um, when you're not talking. Cool? That's just with all platforms, not just with Melon. Cool. To set up your video, what you're going to want to do is click the up hash mark down here. You're going to obviously want to be on camera if you can be. So select your video input, preferably a dedicated camera such as the webcam, what have you. I've just got a Logitech Brio set up here in my studio that you can look at. Then you're going to want to bump up the resolution to the maximum available. I believe that full HD resolution is a paid feature. If you want pro, go ahead and buy it. It's worth it. And you can bump up to full resolution HD. And then that will incre increase the quality of your signal that you're pumping into your broadcast. Next, you're going to want to set up some sort of content to share with your audience using the share tab. So click the up hash mark here. And I believe share in 1080p is also a paid feature with Pro. Um, and there's an auto add screen slash video to stream button if you share something. I recommend turning this off. What this is going to do is if you select a piece of content that you want to show during your stream or your recording, it'll auto punch it in the second you pull it up. I recommend turning this off and making it so that you manually trigger content to show up on the screen, not letting it automatically pop up. This can protect your personal identity and make for a smoother broadcast. So for today's example, I'm just going to basic setup, I'm going to show you screen sharing. It's going to give you the pop up window. I recommend leaving that setting on just in case you had personal information there. I recommend sharing your entire screen, not a window and not a Chrome tab. Your entire screen is going to make it so that it's higher quality. The content doesn't get squished or eliminated if you resize the window. 
If you want to share the audio from whatever it is that was in that internet browser or that screen, you can do that. That'll share all of the audio from your entire computer, your system audio, through this share. So be careful with that. That could cause feedback loops. Once you share that, as you can see, you're now going to have two inputs over here on the side. One of them is going to be your camera. You can click show on stream and it'll pop you into the main window here. The main window here is where is, is what your audience will see. Then if you want to show the content on the screen that you're capturing or whatever it was that you added, you click show on stream with that and it'll bring up both pieces of content. You can reconfigure in Melon how those pieces of content are uh, configured here by going to the bottom left hand corner and choosing the configuration. So if you want yourself to be on top and the content to be below, you click that button, boom, now you're on top and the content's below. If you wanna be on the majority of the screen and you want the content on the side, boom, you pick that and the content's on the side. You choose your configuration based on what you think is appropriate for your content. All of these configurations are available. And as you can see, it quickly and smoothly uh, moves you through these configurations, which is great. Quick couple tips here. If you want any of this content to just be full screen, uh, what you can do is just double click it like I just did and it goes full screen. And you can also click the uh, arrow, the diagonal arrows on either input to make that full screen at any time. It'll just pull it up full screen. So you, a guest, your screen share, a video, anything, if you just hit that diagonal arrows thing, it will bring it up full screen for you. Got it? Cool. One other really quick setting I want to show you. If you want to look at chat during a live stream, you click show chat here and your live, your live stream chat will be over here on the side where you can check out uh, everything that everyone's saying across all platforms. And there's also a private chat. Uh, so private chat is uh, for you and any guests that you have and that you're interviewing. And the last section I'll show you, and I'm going to go over all these in greater detail later in the tutorial series, but you can design themes, logos, you can add text, you can play videos. There are deep settings that you're going to want to go into over here on the settings bar here on the side of the platform as you're setting it up. I'm not going to go over all of those in this basic setup uh, video, but that's how you get started. Just adding your basic scenes, adding your basic elements uh, here, and then what you're going to do once you add those, you may need to reload. It's going to load all of your content into Melon, and then you'll be able to record or go live. And right here at the bottom, you click record, and it'll record locally to your computer, or it'll record to the cloud, and then you can download it. And then you can click go live, and it will go live to destinations that you specify, and boom, you're creating content right there on your internet browser without having to have a crazy amount of equipment or anything super complicated. That's how you get started. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the other videos in this tutorial series and be sure to sign up using my affiliate link below. Adios.